Hello everyone. In this video we're going to go over a very easy farm for wolf spiders. There are three of them that I will show you where to go get, where to kill them, how, how to kill them, and how to do it painlessly without them ever messing with you because they do hit very hard if you get in too close. First things first, I'm going to show you where I'm at on the map. I'm in the northwestern corner of the yard. <clears throat> There's the western anthill, the new Franken line, and all the way up in this corner is where I'm going to kill the very first one. This is if you need spider fangs or if you need the three wolf spiders for your kill missions. The biggest thing to have is gas arrows. This other stuff is helpful as far as like insect bow. I'm not even going to use the marksman's cap because it doesn't benefit the gas arrow. Now for my mutations, I'm actually going to take that off because I'm going to do spiderlings in this video too. And I'm going to put chopper on one of the new mutations you get in the new update. So I'm going to take out my bow. Make sure I have gas arrows equipped. Now, the key to gas arrows, you don't shoot the spider directly. You literally want to aim to miss. And it's seven shots. So there's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we just sit and wait. The gas will do its work. All of, well, maybe all the arrows will be waiting for me to pick up. Maybe not. Now, the green cloud is still kind of there. Don't run in yet. Be patient or have your gas mask on. One of the two. If you had your gas mask, you could use that too. And just going to sit here and wait a second. All right. I should be clear to run in. And it is. I'm not taking damage from gas. I got all seven of my arrows back that I can turn into gas arrows later on when I get more gas sacks. Which I have a video on stink bug farming. If you're interested in trying to make gas arrows or an easy way to get more gas arrows put the bow away because you can run a little bit faster if you're not carrying a two-handed weapon obviously the the mint mallet's the one that slows you down the most but the bow I, I noticed slows you down a little bit now the next one I'm going to kill along the same stepping stone line is right here if you've found the cassette tape the anthill I'll show you where I'm out on the map the anthill is here I'm directly west past the stink bugs from in, in my different video right over here so there's the cassette tape with a scheme underneath the cassette tape and the same thing I'm gonna aim I'm gonna stay a good ways back because I don't want it to get mad at me I don't want it to charge me three four five six seven and then I just wait I mean you can't even see the spider anymore and that's okay I've done I've tried six gas arrows and it leaves it one shot Eight is overkill. Seven is the magic number. So while I wait for the gas to dissipate, if your scabby is going off because there's a scheme nearby and you can't find it, it's right there. It's right up underneath the, the cassette tape. There's also a scheme on top of the new Frankenline Etch-a-Sketch as well. All right. Two spiders down, four fangs. Fangs are kind of important depending on what you're trying to make. Uh, I believe they are needed for the insect bow. So using... Oh, look, my stink bug's back. Using the tier one bow, you can easily do that because the bow doesn't determine damage, just a gas arrow. Now I'm headed towards Rake Rock Point. Trying not to get blown up by the uh, uh, infected weevil right there. Make sure you steer kind of left of the of the uh, the haze area. You don't want to go into there. Now, this is where we will do the third and final wolf spider of the video, as well as do a bunch of spiderling kills. Same thing. I'm gonna set up over here. I'm on the map, just to the west, northwest of you see the rake, the rake handle. There's the rock, the marker from one of the burgle missions. So I get up on the hill to where I can kind of aim in. I don't want to hit the spider. I want to hit the side wall. Seven shots. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you wait. Also make sure you bring a torch with you if you want to go in the tunnel to get the spiderlings. Bust open the uh, the egg sac uh, the web sacks, not egg sacks, web sacks. Same thing, the green gas is gone. The effect is still in the area for a few seconds after it's visually gone. So I'm just giving it a 
uh, enough time to make sure that when I go in there, I'm not taking any damage. Now you see why I have chopper on. I'm going to take out my axe. And there's my third mi my third uh, wolf spider for the mission. All take right, out Shadow. a torch what so people can there? see what I'm doing. And you see there's spiderlings in here. Uh. Coup de gras plus chopper can easily two tap, sometimes one tap these guys. Also, if you need web fiber, this is a great place to go. You can pop these open. It might pop out a, a ladybug head. So random things will come out of these web sacks. Along with sometimes um, spiderlings. But if you need web, uh, web material for your spinning wheel, this is it. Or if you need web material to repair your bow. This is a good place. There's more gnat fuzz. Now, there are more more spiderlings over there. I'm going to kill this one with my axe real quick. There's also an orb weaver back there. I found that you can walk along this wall, hug the wall, and you can walk on to right here. There's an orb weaver back there. So I'm going to take out my bow. I'm going to make sure I have gas arrows up. I'm going to fire a bunch of gas arrows back there. I'll fire about five of them. Mama, Mama might not be there. Oh, there she is. Now she's taking damage. So I'm just going to keep killing things in this area. As long as you fire way back there. Where is she? Hmm. She wants to be around the corner. Sometimes the orb weaver is up on the dog skeleton. So we'll go take a look. I'm going to let all the gas dissipate. But you see all the spiderlings are dead. So the kill spiderling mission... This is a spot to do it. Gas arrows make it easy. You can do it with axe with the chopper mutation on. I think it's been long enough since I fired my last arrow. I'm going to get that one out of the water. And I'm going to hop up out of the water. There we go. And apparently my orb weaver is stuck in the wall somewhere. So I could spam arrows if we were to try and kill her or not. But that spot up on the rock right up here is a great spot to fight the orb weaver. Even if you don't have gas arrows, you can stand right up here if I don't fall off of it. And she will run all the way back there and you can see her and you can shoot her with regular arrows right there. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and pop open these web sacks, collect what's in them, kill the spiderlings, more web fiber for use in my spinning wheel, which will be another video. So gnat fuzz to me isn't very useful because I don't really use it a whole lot. I mean, it has its uses, I just don't use it that much. There was a sack back here. Stink bug parts, which I have a chest of, so that's kind of useless to me as well. These guys will be in the wall sometimes, so you can just hurry up and kill them real quick. Let's go ahead and pop open this last one. Oh, one of them got out. They don't like to stand still, so they just chase me out a little bit. There's also an orb weaver that'll be back here. And like I said, if you get up on this rock, it can't hit you and you can shoot it. It'll run back there. If you have gas arrows, you can just gas arrow it you know, and kill it really easy. But that is the easy way to kill wolf spiders and spiderlings and grounded. Uh, gas arrows are the, like the go-to for that. And that clears out this tunnel and then you can get your spiderling kills done too. So, if you liked what you saw, like this content, I do stream every day on Twitch. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Stop by the channel, say hi. If you got any more questions, feel free to ask them. But until the next video, you have a good one.